Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. General Manager Mode Episode 7, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. And where are we right now? We are in May. First episode of SmackDown in May. We're on the road to Judgment Day. We have about four episodes of SmackDown until we get there. Let's forget about the first month. We're not having a good first month. Raw is beating us. They took a half a million fans from us. That's okay. They just had a pay-per-view and all that, too. So... I know come the 26th, we're going to steal some fans back. But in the meantime, we need to get a good build for the next couple of weeks. So, I need you guys to hit that like button as hard as you possibly can if you're ready for another episode of General Manager Mode. And also, drop a comment while you're down there. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, what you think I should be doing so I can try to get ahead of Raw in this ratings war. And while you're down there, you know, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. You know the drill by now, so let's get right into it. General Manager Mode. Okay, so I already got my notes ready, and I already got some plans. So this week, we are going to have a one-on-one -on -one submission match to start off the show. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to have a submission match. It's going to be a regular, regular singles match with a manager. It's going to be the masterpiece Chris Masters going against Tajiri and his manager, William Regal. Also, if you're wondering why there's no green screen this episode, the green screen came down, didn't feel like setting it back up, so, yeah, you're getting a picture-in-picture -picture video this time. Um, so, yeah, Chris Masters and Tajiri starting it off, match two. Chavo Guerrero. Tag team action. It's going to be Edge and Christian. Taking on Team Angle. Charlie Haas and Sheldon Benjamin. And not 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 for nothing. Team Angle, the world's greatest tag team, Charlie Haas and Sheldon Benjamin, they need a win. At least Charlie Haas needs to win. He needs to get his popularity up. Or I don't know how much longer the world's greatest tag team is going to be a tag team on SmackDown. Number one contenders match for them. If they win, they get an opportunity at Judgment Day for the tag team titles. Um, match four. Let's do... The new World Heavyweight Champion, The Big Show, taking on former World Heavyweight Champion, The Undertaker, one-on-one -on -one non title and Undertaker's looking to get some momentum because, rumor has it, he's going to invoke his rematch clause at Judgment Day for the WWE title. So, that's not confirmed yet, rumor has it. Promo, advertising promo, get that money back. Match 5, we've got... Another tag team match. It's going to be Chris Jericho and Rob Van Dam. We already got our video over here. So Chris Jericho and Rob Van Dam. And they're going to be taking on the team of Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. Trying to keep that rivalry going. And in our main event for the United States Championship. Going to be John Cena going one on one with Kurt Angle. So here we go one, two, got all of our matches booked. One title match, and I'm locking it in. We're confirming it. So simulate all matches. Masterpiece Chris Masters gets the victory over Tajiri. Davari picks up the win over Chavo. Davari looking to build some momentum. Uh, Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin 
put an end to the undefeated streak of Edge and Christian. Getting a win back. And uh, trying to take some momentum towards Judgment Day as well. Match 4. Undertaker beats the Big Show. He gets his victory back, but not his title. But you have to imagine that builds towards Undertaker's case of uh, invoking his rematch clause at the next pay-per-view. Uh, match 5. Rob Van Dam and Chris Jericho able to pick up the victory. RVD keeps his undefeated streak alive, defeating Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. And in the main event, John Cena retains the United States Championship, defeating Kurt Angle. But after the match, Kurt Angle and Team Angle put a little beat down on John Cena. So, you can't see it here, but I'm letting you guys know for the story. Team Angle is not happy that Kurt Angle came up short in his United States Championship match. So, let's see if that was enough to get some fans back from Raw. Fan change, SmackDown, let's go. 50,000 fans. All right, that's a good... That's a good chunk back. Raw only had a two-star show. We had probably a two-and-a-half-star show. Two... Oh. Two stars. We both had two stars somehow. I was able to pull off the victory this week. Let's go check out the emails. Robberies equals... I'll go check those out off camera. Uh, reports. Smackdown results. And that was a pretty good build. That's almost a perfect build. If I switch down, switch around match 4 and match 5, that would have been a perfect build. One and a half, one and a half, two stars, three stars, two and a half, three and a half. Fan support starting to to creep up a little bit. We need uh, almost five million fans to. I mean, uh, almost half a million fans, five hundred thousand fans to bring this thing back to even. But we're building some momentum now towards Judgment Day. And with that being said. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. And while you're down there, don't forget to drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. You know, the whole nine yards so you never miss an upload. Hey, buddy. It's your boy, Doc Savinci, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.